Okay, welcome back to the Forensics Detailing Channel. I'm here at the home of DTC, uh, Dan, Danny James. Look at this camera work. There he is, look. Um, why am I here? Well, Danny got me kind of into these Porsche 996s, especially these Gem 1 Aero kit cars. Um, and Dan is a real expert on these cars, kind of, you know, knows them inside and out, been around them for a long time, owns two of them, has owned loads of them. Uh, and I want to get his take on my car. Now, I love my car but it might be like really bad. <laughs> there might be all sorts of things wrong with it that I'm not too sure about that um, Dan can spot and advise me on. So this is an important moment uh, for me. <laughs> I've already got a list as long as my arm of things that I think I need to do with this car to get it back to where it should be. That list might get as long as my leg after this. Um, so I'm very nervous, but let's get over to Dan, get him to walk around the car and give me the verdict. Is it a good one? Or is it a bad one? Doug. Danny! Hello, mate. How the hell are you doing? Not bad, John. You? Virtual handshake. <laughs> you right? How are you, buddy? I'm good, mate. Now, I've told you about my new 996. Yes. So I've told, told my audience you're a bit of an expert on these cars, uh, aren't you? Yeah, Gen 1 is my thing, as you know. And I know that your obsession with my aero kit has meant that you've gone out and bought one, I haven't have. you, John? Yeah, you got me into it, mate. You did. Yeah. You got, it was a slow-burning thing, but then it just... Clicked. It was good with the done it for you. All them arrows in a line, just yeah, you I was like so, a kid mate. in a sweet shop. So, yeah, and some of the photos to I took of your car as well. Yeah. Um, so I've got so managed to find is. yeah a guard's red one. Yeah. And I think it's okay. 120 miles, thousand miles on the clock. So it's no, yeah. it's no spring chicken. Yeah. Uh, yeah. She sounds good, doesn't she? On paper, as in the, you know what you've paid for it, the miles, the age. It's yeah. an early car. Um, is it cable throttle? Cable throttle. Cable throttle car, which you can you can tell from the back of it, can't you? From the engine, the curly bit in the engine. And you know, first impressions are it's straight, isn't it? It's very it, it, you know, I can see it's modified, it's not a standard car. It's got the rear spats on the full aero kit with rear spats. Flip-flops. Uh the spoiler's been in, put into this is the up position. Yeah. But this is up position one, so there's there's flat, you can actually have a down position, up position one, up position two. So if you look at my one, my one's flat, this one's in the up position, which I think looks quite sporty, very tracky, but I don't know, for the OEM look, I think it's got to go level. back flat again, yeah. Yeah. It's on sport classics. Sport classics, yeah, not sport designs. Now, most of these cars are like mine. They're on the, the iconic GT three wheel, which is the sport design wheel. These sport classics have got like an old school BBS look. Um, you know, twos and throws, but it's a bit different. So, and I can, I we can have like a look. It. Yeah, we can have a look to see if this is factory fitted or not. I think the factory fitted. Um, yeah, well, we classics. can find that out on your coding, John. And obviously with the aero bumper, this aero bumper is the Zender. solid one, which is the Zender bumper, Yeah. Um, which is the same as what my 2001 car would have. And this is an early cable throttle car. It's interesting whether to know. So that crossover time. Yeah, though, that crossover time of whether this is an original bumper on this car done by a dealer because if this car, well, let's have a look. I'm guessing won't have an XAA code. So won't. None of them do, do they? If they're 90. Um... 97s, 8s, and some 9s don't have them. 9 can have them, but definitely 2000 onwards would have an XAA code. So here's your codes. There's your chassis number model number, so it's a 99 model year, so that's your model year, even if it's registered 98, which you can see there, 0798, yeah. the model is a 99 model. So interesting, it's a cable throttle, that's the very last of them. Uh, that's your code for the paint, and that's the code for the interior, black, and as you can see, no XAA, so it's not factory fitted aero kit this means this kit like most of these early cars all of these early cars like dtc they're put on at the dealerships sometimes by porsche sometimes later when the car's second hand or any time from then till present you know yeah. there's no there's no definite time but there's some of your codes there so you've got 220 222 so that's to do with your traction control and your lsd yes so it's an LSD car. It's got a limited slip diff, Porsche limited slip diff, which I'm quite pleased about. It's 375, 376, it's a sports seat. It's a factory sports seat car. Yeah, sorry about the wind noise, yeah. guys. 030 is an MO30 suspension car. Which is rare and as C16 well, is the model design year, which is Gen 1 C2. So yeah, 
looks like, and you can see some of your bits on here already. There's your sport design wheels, XRB. So they are the right wheels. Sports Classic, sport sorry. Classic, yeah. Not Sport Design. Sport Design is XRD. So yeah. So yeah, that's good already. You can get an idea that the paint's a little bit swirly. Yeah. You put, yeah, you can see it with my and finger. She has had some paint work. If oh, it's, I think it's been. I think it's yeah, all look, been painted at some stage. You can stage. see the inside of the bonnet, the orange peel up there. That's over spray. Yeah. And even actually sprayed on the catch there. Yeah. So it has had the but bonnet. It's not too painted. bad though. I've seen really no. terrible. It's been flattened well, <clears> which I'm pleased and it's about. It's straight. It's, it's just straight now. Got a lot you know. of wash related <clears> swirls on it. The panel lines are good. It's always good to have a nice even gap here around Didn't the get shop. the ceramic, ceramic coating as well. These they? are nice as well. These all sit nice. Some roof sits, seal sits a little low, but that could have just been pushed down. Yeah. Um, you know, it it, does, yeah. if you pull back the windscreen seals and put your fingers around it. You can see where the masking line is, where it's had paint before. Yeah. But they've done a nice job of it. They've masked it well. It's not yeah. too bad, though. I've no. seen some bodges. Yeah. There's, it's not really dry around the edges, is it? It's nice. Yeah, you get that a lot. Whoever right. painted it has painted it with care. Um, again, look around the shuts and stuff. See if you get a really hard line on this there edge. Is, there is, there is, there one, is but a it's not one. really bad. No. So again, you know, yes, yeah, she's had paint and she's entitled to it. Yeah, if um, it was on original paint, as the guards read it, it'd probably need painting by now after about 25 years. I think the interior, like you say, is uh, it's, it's a bit ricey, isn't it? She's um, it's very DTC. It's very I struggle track with seats. style. Yeah, they're great in terms of once you're in yeah, them. Recaros, you know, they're expensive. I, I get why they're so seats, highly regarded, but yeah. just for me, I'm too big for them and I can't get in and out easily. Yeah, so I'm not go. sure about the Alcantara. I'm not sure that's actually Alcantara. Well. No, it's more like the inside of a teddy bear or cheap, something like that. Cheap yeah. Alcantara. Yeah, and this it's is fake. really, really worn, isn't it? You know? It just needs cleaning, actually. I think, yeah. I think it's okay. It's just crusted up a bit. So once I take that steering wheel off, I'll clean it and I'll just punt it on eBay. Obviously, someone's gone for the ironic, uh, let's pretend we've got a GT spree. I didn't see a badge on the back, but obviously yeah. there is badged inside there and there, which, yeah, you know, again, I'd change Tacky. it just a Carrera because it's not a GT spree. An Aero is its own thing, and, and, and they're followed like that. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I think you know, I think it's all easy undo stuff though, isn't it? There's We've got the centre major. console missing. Yeah. But we're sorted on that. You're I've gonna got... do a centre console delete on that, aren't yeah. you? Yeah, yeah. Sort that gear knob out because that's, yeah. that's all yeah. off centre. Yeah, that's sitting at a funny angle, isn't it? That should be like that. Yeah. Um, it's almost like it's in second gear, but it's not. No. Um, but yeah, no, and you know, some of the space grey has um, been painted over there. Look with this sort of look aerosol black that one's redoing, doesn't it? And, don't know what's going on in that glove box, John. That, that's going to have to go, isn't yeah. it? I think they've... Uh, back to leather. Yeah, back to original. It's probably under there. It's probably just stuck on there. So Hope, should be able to pull If I'm off. lucky, but I've got a feeling it will be... Yeah, I'll show, you, I'll show you one of those in the flesh. You can see what it's like. But overall, it's in fairly good condition, though, isn't it? It's not everything... It doesn't look like 120,000 no. miles, really. It seems, you know, like it's you not been the kicked to death. That, the seats and the steering wheel thing would take yeah. the hammer in. So if you replace those, you can sort of make it look a bit younger. Yeah, we'll have a look under the uh, engine bay. But overall inside, she's really good. Nice cage. Yeah. Um, definitely more the DTC look than the OEM look. But, you know, you could probably go somewhere between there. Like, say, once a badge on there, really. Yeah. Personally, I'd do a Carrera badge back on there. Yeah, rebadge it. Um, so she's got the K and N after market uh, intake, which says you know these create a nice roar. They can actually make them pop and bang as well, which is unusual on a 906. But you can get some intake in there, which will make it pop and bang. It's got the protective sleeve under there to keep the dirt out. Um, generally, most people take them off, but you know it's up to you. I mean, I actually took this system off of my OEM car, and I'm going to customise it. That's your ETC, OEM one. Right? Yeah. So I've done a, a different system. Where is DTC? Uh, she's out the back under cover, oh, right. all in parts, because I'm about to take the roof off. So, But other than that, she looks all very original. Cable throttle, so straight away you see that you can actually see the cable and the spring throttle control. So that is a cable throttle car. If it has a plastic block on the side that looks like that, then it will be a fly-by-wire car. So, so it's actuated. Yeah, right? so it, although it's a 99 model year, it's built 98 as well. Well, we know that because it's registered 98, but it's built 98, so it is a cable car. This is the more desirable car, especially as an LSD MO30. You've not mentioned the Dantec exhaust. 
Um, no, so yeah, same same black boxes dense. as those. Danks. Or yeah, design, do, I can't remember if it's design tech or dense. Yeah, I, I think they're the same as them, which is Danks, D-A-S-N-K, something like that. A really good product, really good it's noises. It's a nice exhaust, actually, isn't it? it yeah, a little bit of overspray on the rubber. So again, but we know that because we know it's had some paint around it. But overall in here, it looks really good, really promising. I mean, obviously, You've done the, your usual check, but you check the oil. See yeah, the, the oil lever's not moving is. on the car, which is good. Yeah. And I've done like over 1,200 miles in it, and it hasn't yeah. dropped any oil. It's dirty, it wants changing, but it's not horrendous. It's not mm. really gloopy. It's still, you know, luby. Um, and when people look in here, they sometimes get a panic. Yeah, I did when I bought the 4S, Because they see mayonnaise yeah. looking It's not in too there. bad, does it? Look, there you go. There's already a bit of water. That's condensation. It's condensation, so, yeah. Condense, especially in the winter now. Uh, you get condensation, it mixes up in there. Header tank looks good, colour looks good. Uh, the valve is up, so it's warm now, as it should be, so that means that's working well. See the valve at the top there? She's up, so when she's hot, she should be up, and when she's cold, she should be down, so that's good. Uh, that means it's pressurised, you wouldn't want to go undoing that. Engine mounts don't look that old, they could be originals, but they don't look it. They look like they've been changed out, and they're, they're standard. They're genuine as well, but they look like they've been replaced, which is good. Everything under there looks nice as it should be, really, John. The belt looks good. But the orcs? Yeah, I can't see. I mean, this hides a lot, but you can't see the pulleys very well. But I'd say it looks pretty good under there. Yeah. Time will tell how good it is. It's not much it corrosion as well. No, there's good. nothing. Yeah, I'm just thinking that. Um, Again, whether it's been done or not, the inside of the arches, Ooh, yeah, they've good. had some black there. That black's not factory, so that's a little bit of protection. They do, they there. rust there, though. They, they do rust, surface, don't they? Not rust from the inside. They rust because they get stone yeah, yeah, yeah. and the paint comes away, and the water, the mud gets trapped up under here like that, um, which is not too bad in your car, but the mud gets trapped under here, um, which causes them to bubble out, and they're not, they're not. They're not suffering from that. The front gets road rash to death. It always looks like it's been done and again treated. Yeah, that's where it leaves a little bit of touch up there. Some of the paint's yeah, come off. Yeah, you get that. We call that road rash. Both sides are good on that. And same with this arch. It's been done because it's got a bit of black and they've put a nice bit of stone chip on there. So yeah, they've done a good job of that. Hubs have been painted, haven't they? Yeah. Obviously, it's had the centre of the wheels painted anyway. Yeah. So, yeah, they've it's probably the colour-coded those up. Those calipers look like they'll clean up nice. They don't need refurbing. Generally, overall, first impressions, John, it looks really good. It's all right, isn't it? For really the good. Straight car. Honest car as well. It's had... It's, it's been a maintained car. It's had some work done. Yeah, in the um, last three years, it's had a lot someone's done. Someone's cared for it. You know, those arches have been done, things like that. It's definitely been looked after. We know it's had paint um, and they've done good paint on it. So they've not gone to the cheapest garage in the world just to get the best price. They've gone to someone that can do it, do a good job. Boot don't want to shut now. That's common with these. You have to check the catch isn't sticking. And close it again. Down now. I probably want some adjustment on there, John. A bit of lube. But yeah, no, overall I'm impressed, mate. Very impressed. What does she drive like, John? Um needs a geo. Needs a yeah. geo. Uh, engine feels healthy, feels like it's you know, Very strong. Lineal. It's got that nice pull all the way yeah. through. Cable throttle car gives you a lot of uh, information back through the pedal and through yeah. the steering. You know, you really, people say, what's the difference with fly-by-wire and cable? It's constant. So as you're on and off the revs, you're on and off the foot, and it feeds all the information back. So if the car's running really well and very lineal and pulling strong all the way through, you feel it's good. it through the, your body. The engine's good. Clutch, is, clutch pedal feels very heavy, very springy. Yeah. Is that normal? Yeah, they are quite a bit of a heavy cut. It's mostly in first, 
and yeah. pulling away. But once you're up and driving, it shouldn't feel like a that. Short shifter. It should is, feel really good. It's proper Popeye short shifter. Like is your it? arm's going to get big from using it. It's yeah, like heavy. really stiff. So, um, but yeah, I like no, it. I like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When so you go weighted in gear knob as well. The Tech yeah. Quick gear knob's weighted, so yeah. it'll feel a little bit heavier. Yeah, it's heavy as hell, but it's manly. I like it. Yeah. Uh, and everything seems to work, apart from some minor little niggles inside with the indicator stalks. Yeah. And some of the things you've picked up with the well, Alcantara. That's, that's common for its age as well. You've got to expect a little bit of that. And obviously, brakes, this age of vehicle, you tend to look in at suspension brakes and arms. And you'll brakes, notice that. Pads are all brand new. Yeah. Discs are relatively new, I think, in the last two or three years. So it's had all braided lines, all the brake lines as well have been replaced with ones that don't corrode some other yeah, type of types one. yeah yeah but i want to show you so i'm basically getting a decent vibe from you there yeah, Danny, yeah, yeah. it's not a bad car i, I want to show you danny's this is danny's winning. stock one you know i've shown yeah this is the oem the car that's very dirty because she's just done 1400 miles across europe I really love this but this terracotta just grows on you. Yeah, the more you drive it, the more you love it. Yeah. I mean, we've just done a, uh, set me and Mark Henry have just done a week in this car, 1400 miles, both sharing the driving. And most of the weather has been horrendous. You know, it's been terrible, really wet, really horrible. Oh yeah, your clutch feels, and this, it's still lighter than mine. Though. Really, this is a later car. This is a fly-by-wire car and it's not an LSD car. Remember you've got the LSD. Your clutch, your, your accelerator's lighter. Yeah. yeah, you can feel that straight away, can't you? Because yeah. it's not pulling on the, the cable. The clutch is similar, but a little bit lighter but not much in it not much in it it's a low mileage car you know there might condition be a little bit of that. the condition yeah. of this is lovely yeah it is in amazing condition this car yeah the interior. but yeah the interior really brightened up our week considering how bad the weather was you're doing a lot of miles we spent a lot of time in the car i think one stint alone was 12 hours when me and mark drove this car for 12 hours right down into the south of germany towards stuttgart and um Good. and yeah it kind of brightened up our lives it's a beautiful car. I love this car, yeah. Because there was another silver terracotta one for yes. sale and I was tempted to buy it. It's so much easier to get in and out of this car with those seats. They're comfy as well. Yeah, they do say, we do sort of say, and it is a golden rule, that the standard Carrera seats are the most comfortable seats. So as a grand touring car, which is what this is, um, to me it's completely justified having two cars because Come doing here, the 1400 mile journey and you know next year i'm going to do the same sort of journey again probably more next year 2000 so you'll have to join us in that one john come um, this way we'll get out of the wind in this car it's it, it, it it's basically educated me even more that i need that oem grand tour car because the other car dtc has got too aggressive now it's too gnarly it's yeah just this was the one i took the picture of this on my instagram account yes and that picture really made me think oh, these cars are stunning yeah yeah i mean this is a non-sunroof car so which stunning. i like this car as it is as a fact only thing i would upgrade on it john would be the headlights you've got the same headlights you, you, you want the gingicators the uh, no, no i do like them but i mean <laughs> on your car definitely I but don't know that, more right? on this car because i need some brightness so yeah, I but your, your headlights are nice and clear i would yeah mess with them. mine are a bit cloudy i'll either change the bulbs upgrade the bulbs if i can get away with it if not maybe a set of factory oem xenons which Ooh. are plug and play so That'd you just nice slide them out slide them in just what? because in the German streets at night, it was very dark and yeah. they struggled a bit. I have got a tow eye cover, by the way. It's uh, obviously out because she's been around Spa. So as you see there, look, there's a little, she was 030, look, MO30, John, 030. She was MO30 for Spa. So she's awesome. done her day around the track and she did well. She just wasn't a race car. You can tell what stuff Dan uses to keep his car clean, yeah, all the yeah. detailing things. You wouldn't guess, would you? Look at this, he's got it all organised in little rows. <laughs> That's good. I'm a bit of a car park specialist now as well. Right, and and this, is this is Dan's building a new car here. He's just got to <laughs> he's got to put it all together. No, this is all uh, this is all nine nine six these, parts. Uh, I think so. That's the same part that's in my kick plate. Yes, so you could possibly. Probably just get carpet yeah, maybe. And just it on. Yeah, I suppose so. There's meant to be a difference in the carpet. Oh, it's a lighter carpet and stuff. I've got me spats like you, John. 
Oh yeah, these yeah. Are o these are OEM. They're rare Porsche. as rocking horse. Yeah, these are actual genuine OEM, like what you've got on your car. Yeah. Um, so obviously these have got to be, be fully stripped. Out, yeah, they're in a bit off. of a state. Strip it all down, and they're going to be painted silver. That will finish them off. Actually, fit onto the car. Yeah. Well, I told you about spats, didn't I? Yeah, I hated them at first. I thought they were cheesy, but that's a genuine GT3 front bumper yeah, because that's it's got rare as well. Scoop. Yeah. In Zanzibar as you well. You can't get these for love nor money. No. Go on eBay and look. Put in GT3. 996 front bumper and there's one that's smashed the yellow up. one yeah. smashed up and he wants a gram for it and then i've got two more there but they are aftermarket copies yeah. uh, one of which is sold i've got a package up for someone and the other one is going to be just a spare and i've got a tech art gt turbo style front bumper that's rare. um a 993 oh, bumper, that's the marble think, one you were telling me think about i think is yeah. wall art uh, mm -hmm. whole interior Yes, yeah, um, so if anybody's interested in this stuff, yeah. I'll put your contact details in there as well. Yeah, all 996, but mostly Gen 1, apart from the front bumper, which is yeah, so 993. What Danny's not telling you is all the 996s in the area have got missing parts. So there's an orange <laughs> one just up the road with no front bumper and side skirts. What I need is a taco rear spoiler, John. He goes out on the prowl at like three in the morning. <laughs> yeah, John, look. <laughs> well, that's Pinnacle what I need. covers what you need. Look. Well, that's there's... the wrong colour, though. Is no, it? it's black. Is it yeah, black? Yeah, yeah, it's black with a Are space. You sure? Yeah, it's very dusty, but with a space grey. Oh, bloody hell, that would have done. Look. Well, uh, oh, you know what? Has anyone bagsy this off you? Well, it's a part of this interior. Oh, is it? Oh, okay, so you don't want to separate it, really? No. Okay. But that... we could try ripping the Alcantara off yours. As a, and yeah, but I don't think there'd be any leather underneath. Oh, you think it's been peeled off? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, this one's got Have you got both one, the so. blue... Sp like, move your hand? Oh, yeah, you have. Yeah, yeah, that's in good nick. Yeah. yeah. Um, and that's you don't think that's dark grey? No, it's just dusty. It's okay. black, definitely a full black interior. Yeah, got some Pioneer speakers as well. Mm, nice, Little nice. Pioneer earrings. Okay, so Dan, give me the overall verdict. Yeah, so um, uh, you for know, a car that you pay 18 grand for, <sighs> yeah, I think that's really good value. John. Mark's out of 10 for, for what it's not a 10, is it? It needs work. It, no, it's not a 10 out of 10 example. She's probably, I mean, as if you if we take it. As a whole, she's probably an eight. You reckon? Because that's yeah, good. yeah because, I'd said seven. I mean, I've yeah. got to drive it. To it could get be, the idea it could, but it, once it's all done and yeah. it's all polished, it'd be great. And the key thing with this car is, is the old saying on Instagram. I think you had it on one of your Instagram videos saying, "If you go to heaven with the highest mileage Porsche, yes. you've lost." You've lost. Yeah, you, mileage doesn't bother me. You know, this car's only a ninety thousand mile car, which is fairly but you low. You just want to drive them, don't you? Yeah, I mean, most of my nine nine sixes I've owned DTC is already getting towards one thirty. Yeah. My last car, my Tiger, the engines I took would be to good. You certainly change your oil, and those engines would be good for hundreds yeah. of thousands of miles. Yeah. And if they blow up, you're just getting rebuilt. Yeah, I think realistically. Everything on the bodywork is very easy for you to put right in what yeah. you do with cleaning and detailing. Um, I think I don't, I can't see any paintwork needed, which no. is a major bonus. Um, interior is all unbolt and bolt in. It's all it's all mods that you want to remove or put your personal touches yes. on there. Yeah. Um, I'm not overly clean on the classic wheels over the Sport Design original. GT style wheels, but then it's nice that it's nice that they're a bit he's, different. He's told me that before. He's always yeah, getting that inside. Yeah. And it's nice that they're different because, of course, we've all got sport design wheels, yeah. and John's going to roll up. You the know sport what though? Classics. I do. I see what you mean. Yeah. yeah. I just think the sport designs are a bit chunkier. But you can never have everything um, you want, can you? No, when you buy one, you've got to always no. look at it, and there'd be things you know, that you might want to change later on. And some people like. I don't like the bronze really. You know, no. it's okay. But a like, lighter it, gold would be better. Yeah, or just silver. I think. It's, yeah, with diamond cut lips or something, just for that classic original OEM look. Be, but that'd be, I think that'd look really it'd classy. Be cloudy up all the time <laughs> no go raw you'll be fine um, um, but yeah overall i'd say she's probably an eight and you're going to get that car right up towards a 10 hopefully without a massive amount of effort it's not going to be for nothing because you've got to spend money on parts but it was cheap so like the money yeah. i'm going to spend i think you'll be where it needs to be we'll, we'll, we'll get it where i want mm. it to be and by the time i've spent it's gonna i'm gonna plowed about three grand at least into it maybe and more. there's probably some money to come back john that's yeah, the, the thing them seats bits. are worth a lot of money the steering wheel everything but you take out even the gt3 bits they're swappable i'll or still sellable. i'll still put two grand into it to, at least maybe even more yeah, so if you said that car done at twenty thousand, i think you've won the day that'd be great wouldn't it? i would imagine in a good market with the wind behind it 
it would be twenty four, twenty five thousand if it was Probably, all OEM yeah, and all in really good condition. Yeah, maybe. Because it's yeah. red, it's a full aero kit car with the spats. That makes it a bit rarer. All those um, modifications that you can see from back here put people off. Yes, because they want it. They want it original. They want to buy them like that, don't they? Yeah. Factory OEM. Yeah. Uh, and then people add their bits if yeah. they want to. Yeah. And um, I think if you modify them, you should always just keep everything so that you can revert it back if ever you want to sell it and then sell off all the upgraded bits for a decent price. That yes. way you don't lose money on the car from devaluing it from, yes. from the rice factor. Yeah, yeah. And you get some extra money back for you all your bits. Money yeah, back. that's the way to yeah, do I it. Yeah, I mean, DTC, I bought the other way. I bought it kind of standard and sold off all the parts because I had no intention of going back. But yeah, in hindsight, I should have bought a modified you, one. You sold, sold off your the parts, modified yeah. bit. Yeah, but then, yeah. Dan, I don't think, but I've got I get the impression parts aren't a problem for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these are the wrong parts though, John. Yeah. But yeah, no, um, I, think, I think you've done really well. I think you've got the potential there to make a really good car. And the fact that it's red as well is a real winner because when we go to a lot of these shows now, most of us aero boys are silver because it was their biggest selling colour. Yeah. Um, it's kind of their flagship colour. You'll get that when you go to the Stuttgart Museum. As soon as you come into the water cooled section, they're all, they're all Arctic silver. It looks good in so silver. So the, the, the 996 is Arctic silver. If I couldn't find a red one, I would have got a silver one, I think. All the prototypes as well, ironically, the GT1 car, the famous GT1, which is the first car to wear the fried egg headlights, is silver. You know the best and of both worlds. Even the worlds, Carrera GT silver. If you're going to have a stock one like like uh, that one there, silver works. I think if you want a race one like yeah. a tracky one, then yellow or red yeah, is great, it's really isn't it? Great. Yeah. But then yeah. again, there's some nice other colours, isn't the there? The other option is like with that is you have a silver car, but you have an exciting interior yeah. like the green. Yeah. The, well, the terracotta green is absolutely. The terracotta, the terracotta is amazing. It just changes the car's dynamics. It does. Yeah. Whereas if it have a black interior, it really does blend in with the rest of the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That works. Silver and terracotta is a lovely combo. Mm. Combo. Same combo, with actually. the green, the near bright green. Five years. You wouldn't ago. have thought so, would you? No, five, five years I get ago, it as well. You, 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 no one would have even looked. When at it's that. new, that'd be like the uh, ugly duckling interior got, colour. Now it's like, oh, that's Slayford really nice. Slayford on Instagram, who bought one on eBay that was struggling to sell two or three years ago, and he got a good price on that. He bought it, put some BBSs on it, put initially sports Arctic back sports seats in it. Now has some Recaros in it retrimmed in the green yeah wow good, everybody yeah. loves that car now. it's different you want it's like he's changed people's opinion on that interior near and now fright. everyone wants one now yeah. everyone wants a near bright green interior yeah. metropole blue near blue. fright would work on most things yeah except yellow it wouldn't work yeah, on yellow would it know. yeah it'd work it just about get away with it in red would it be rhubarb and custard with it yellow? wouldn't work on yellow <laughs> no. it but any other color i think it'd work with black silver it looks good on a green car as well dark green, work on great outside, on a green, yeah. green on there's the all inside. sorts of rare colors in this car that you mm. see every now and then like when i see i'm always messaging danny on instagram or whatsapp I'm like, look at this one it's a funny color yeah. <laughs> You know most of them that are out yeah, there. Yeah, funny you? colour cars are really popular now because we want to be different. You know, we've got all these, most of us have got all these blacks and silvers and greys and dull interiors because that was the safe bet. Now, all of a sudden, 20 years later, it's like, I want to pop out, I want to stand out. And people are doing so. You know, they're ordering new cars now and they're getting brave. They're paying extra for these frozen berry paint jobs and bright greens and browns and putting really weird colour interiors in them and it's catching on. Yeah. And now the old cars, everybody wants to do it. But that era of car, they didn't do it. They all stayed very boring. Yeah. So we're, uh, yeah, we're changing the way. Yeah. <laughs> cool. And Dan, just so people know, where can they find you? Because uh, you're on YouTube and Instagram, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Facebook, YouTube and Instagram, even eBay. It's all the same. It's Dan's Timeless Classics, all one word. I'm getting the reputation as Dan Dan the 996, man. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, it's probably because I've owned hundreds of the bloody things and boxers as well and it's what i love and obviously running two arrows now i might even be getting a gen 2 coming back to me next year which i can imagine is going to be a keeper again so i might be dan 3996 man next year but i love them i think they're great cars and i'm glad you've jumped on the bandwagon and got in the club and i think you'll realize what i've been going on about oh they're brilliant and i love them already you know yeah. so i think i think and i think the love for them is spreading it's not just because they're cheap 
because they are generally cheap in They're the very cheap. world. Yeah. They, some, some of them, as we know, are creeping up now, especially these aero cars. You've got to but, get one that's, but that's been looked yeah, after, though. Yeah. You could be 10 grand yes. on top of what you pay just Some to get of them sorted. are cheap for a reason, yeah. because they need the same again spending on them. Yeah. And that's when it gets pricey, when you've got to do rebuild yeah. engines and And they need re full and, paint jobs. Yeah, and paint jobs. Rust you know, underneath, yeah, corrosion. That's when it gets really good. Break then. lines. Then, you, then you're better off just spending the money and getting a nice quality one. And you want ones that have been used, like you say. Don't yeah. be afraid of one that's high yeah, mileage. Yeah, low if it's mileage. been get into a garage every year to have an MOT yeah. and anything they see gets fixed. I think you said yours was service. four owners, weren't it, John? Was it four no, or five? No, it's five, I think. Five's all right, six, yeah. Maybe. I mean, I've seen these cars 10, 12 owners now. Yeah, I mean, it's 25 years old. Um, if you can find a high mileage low owner, like I've had a car with 121 on. I bought it with 120 something on, one owner car. So I was the second owner on that car. It's now on 136, that car, um, with the third owner, and it's coming back to me next year. So I'm going to be the fourth owner, but I'll be the second and fourth owner. And I'll push it to 140 miles, and guess what? It's probably better than both of us put together. Is it good? Yes, yeah, unreal. So, uh, Gen the, 2? Yeah, but the service history is just phenomenal. Aero kit? Yeah, no. It didn't do, well, they did do a Gen 2. It was a Targa I had, Gen oh. 2 Targa. So she's coming home next year, and I can imagine it staying around for a little bit. It's not well, meant to be. It's meant to be, be on sale or return. You'll be juggling too many But Porsches. I just can't imagine the return part happening. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Once it's back here, it'll be like, oh, I'm comfortable now. I like it here. Yeah, you won't want to get rid of it, <laughs> will you? All right, Dan. Well, listen, I appreciate your time, man. Appreciate You're you welcome. checking out the car. So don't forget to follow Dan on Dan's Timeless Classics on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Other than that, looks like I've got a winner. Take care. See you soon. Over and out. Doug. <laughs>